playing for each other. That's what's gotten Monarch Hockey to another Frozen Four appearance and the shot to avenge last year's state title loss to Regis. Well, it's definitely been a journey this year. It's been different, but it's been great. And it's been such a privilege to come back every year to this program. And we have great players coming in every year. New guys, old guys, guys getting better. And I think especially this year, we saw a lot of guys get a lot better throughout the season. And, uh, and I think that's an attribute to our coaching and uh, the hard work that we, uh, we hold ourselves to and uh, just the high standard that uh, Monarch Hockey holds. I think at the beginning of the year, um, some of the older teams or the heavier teams we would really struggle with. Um, but these guys have mentally and physically come so far. Um, and now I think we haven't lost since like February 3rd. So, and we had a couple big wins in there. A lot of the contributing players last year were mostly seniors. So coming into the season, we really didn't know like, oh, are we gonna be, are we gonna be a contending team in the championship again? Or are we gonna be kind of the low teams? You know, so we didn't really know and we, we had a really hot start and then we hit the middle and had some bumps, had really good games, had really low games and then uh, right after the break that's when we really started turning it on and ever since then it's just been up, up, up. It's been all good for Monarch in the playoffs so far, but with a powerful and heavy hitting Cherry Creek team awaiting in the Frozen Four, what will the Coyotes need to do to get the W? It's do or die, so um, you know, you win. You move on, you lose, your season's over, and for me, that's that would be my last game, but uh, it's not going to end there, and uh, I know I'll be playing for each and one of my uh, teammates, and I know they'll be up, out there playing for me. And it's really going to take that. we got to come together as a team and uh, really gel and work really hard to beat them. After last year's state title game loss, this team is fired up, and if it happens to work out, they would love another crack at the boys from Regis. Yeah, definitely a little fire under us for sure. You know, um, it was really hard last year, but especially for me, I played on the team last year and to see what it did to the seniors to lose like that, you know, I got that fire under me. So like, I'm gonna give that to the boys, you know, power them up with that and hopefully that'll like get us through that game. We're right where we wanna be um, and we're gonna give it our all this weekend. It's gonna be one action packed Frozen Four. Good luck to Monarch as they attempt to finally get over the hump and hoist the state title trophy. For Colorado Prep Spotlight, I'm Phil Santucci.